Okay, so there it is. I was talking about of doing some unboxing. Um, so let's go. So it came like this in such a beautiful uh, cardboard box. So let's have a look inside. There you go. So you first have uh, lovely um, vouchers to buy from uh, Ink Method's website. Then you've got the valuable um, owner's manual with a lot of information on the engraver itself and how it works. Um, quite a good read. Look at this beautiful packaging. What a lovely tissue paper. Um, I cheated a bit because I opened it yesterday. I couldn't wait. So that's why normally it doesn't look that messy. Everything is well packaged in uh, different uh, packaging. But, you know, I was a bit too eager. So I unboxed it yesterday. So let's have a look at everything inside. Okay, so let's take everything out and put it on the side. And then I'll explain what everything is nicely. Okay, so these are all the pieces that you get in to this beautiful box from Igmethis. So let's go one by one uh, to have a look at what we have. So this we'll see at last. So this is, um, well, the battery or the charger, whatever you call it, that gives power to the brushless uh, engraver. So um, it comes, I think, in three colors, silver, rose gold, and gold. Um, I like silver, so I chose for the plain one. Uh, I put my own sticker today, but normally um, you have the uh, possibility to have it uh, personalized with your own uh, business name or anything that you want in different font, uh, which is quite beautiful. Um, my partner bought it for me, so he had no idea, so he just bought it plain like that, which I'm very grateful. So, um, so it's already in a lovely protected uh, plastic box, which you can also remove for what I could understand. Yeah, if you think it's easier, although I think this is quite handy because this part here it's also enabling to put your uh, brushless engraver in it. And you've got this tiny key, well tiny, you've got this key that will enable you to uh, turn it, to unscrew it. I'm not quite great at doing those things though. And maybe a bit more, yeah. Yes, and there uh, you can put it, you know, in an upward position, then you screw it back to secure it in the position that you want. And then definitely you can put it here, um, which is great while working. Um, well, for the sake of the video, I'll just leave it like that. This part is also um, to rest your brushless pen which is great as well so I mean you can see it's all very compact so if you work on um, on events on the go or at home it doesn't take much room so it's it's really great and this is honestly I mean this is so light um, I'm always scared because I mean I have tiny hands and I don't like you know big uh, brush pens and uh, any kind of tool and also if it's heavy, especially if you have to work, you know, for long hours. But this is just great. So, okay, so we've seen that and that. So this plugs into here. A great thing as well. So you just have to follow, you know, those holes and put it in the pins in here. Um, and this is to power on and power off. And uh, you just turn and it will go up to 35,000 RPM. I have... Uh, seen on videos from other engraver that usually for glass, uh, if you want to engrave a bottle or things like that, 30,000 is much more than enough. This is the actual sound of the engraver. Um, 
and I will do a test just after I demonstrate all the, um, the functionalities here so that you can hear the proper sound what it does on glass and it's not really bothering so I'll just turn it off for now uh, this obviously is to charge it I mean um, I bought it from America so obviously this is an American charger you just need an adapter um, but when you buy it it comes fully charged I mean I have an adapter at home from another device that I have so I'll, I'll use that uh, otherwise you can buy them you know it's something like 10 quid or something so um, so that's it um, then what you get as well are these burrs, those diamond burrs. You have two different shapes. So this one is small, so obviously it will engrave, you know, in kind of a thinner way. Or at least your stroke will look thinner. And uh, this one is slightly bigger. So I will do a test with both. So which is great that you already have everything to start basically. Uh, the last part in here that I've not seen is that tiny piece there. And for what I could understand from their website, uh, this part is actually a kind of an adapter so that it can fit pretty much any burrs. I mean, it comes with this. This is not a burr. This is actually something to keep, you know, uh, the hole filled to make sure that there's no dust or any kind of, you know, unwanted particles that goes into uh, your engraver which could, you know, damage it on the long term. To obviously, you will remove it if you want to use it. So it's a click on the left to unlock. You take it out. Um, if your burrs are quite, I don't know if you say large, but that kind of size, obviously it will fit immediately. And then you lock it by turning to the right. But if they are like these, they look like they are thinner, the diameter is thinner, so you will need this uh, sort of, I will call it an adapter. So you'll put it in, um, I'm not going to screw it yet, and then you'll take one of your burrs, so you just leave that to the side, so you take one of the burrs, mm, well, I'll leave it for later. You'll put it, you have your, here a mark, so you'll insert it till the mark and then you lock it and then it's ready to go. So I suggest that we do a test so that you see what it looks like. Uh, so let me grab a glass or a bottle. Uh, I'll take... Okay, so let me move out the way where that I don't need to make sure I have clean space to work. Uh, those ones there. So I'll put back here, not to lose any piece. There you go. Okay, an important part as well is uh, to use protective uh, goggles or glasses and to wear a mask. Because while you will be um, engraving, there will be some kind of dust uh, particles. And to avoid that, you know, that you inhale or that it goes into your eyes, it's very important. Um, I was not really prepared, so I don't have any goggles, so I will use my glass for now, but clearly I have ordered some goggles and I put a face mask. Um, also good to have, you know, a brush, so while you're working you can brush off or dust off um, the glass dust or a cloth or whatever, you know, that suits you. Um, I'm sorry I was not prepared and... I'm not really much of a drinker, so I don't have any bottles, um, but yeah, I will use my olive oil, so that should do the trick as well. So, okay, so let's put the mask on, okay, and the glasses, perfect. Um, I don't know if I'll just write on the go or if I do it the proper way and clearly you can use and write beforehand, you know, either using, you know, a, um, chalk pen or glass marking pens or any kind of a Stabilo or, uh, not Stabilo, um, Posca. Oh yeah, you can use, well, any kind of pen, not Stabilo though. So, okay, so I'll probably... Write something with that. Mm. And I will just.
just mark something like oil. Okay. Something small. Okay. Let's put the engraver somewhere on the side. Then 30,000. Okay. And um, this one is a flat one, but should it be, you know, a bottle of wine, bottle of beer, or, you know, any regular bottle with, you know, a more rounded shape, then to secure it, you could use, you know, a cloth, you could use a cloth or a cushion or anything you have. Um, obviously, it's not really great using the marker that I have because it's a bit like, you know, leaking, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's have a go. So you hold it basically like a normal pen and Okay, let's have a quick look. So I'll put it into here, brush it off. And with the clot, while I'm at it, I'll remove the marker. So that's what it will give. I don't know if you see very well, but it's quite okay. I mean, yeah, it's, I like it. I like it. Okay, so that was the first test for today. I will definitely uh, practice more. Um, also, you know, to get the muscle memory using the tool. Um, I will also do some full calligraphy to have, you know, my thin and thick. And I've also um, ordered so rub and buff so that I will be able to, you know, to add some color, some uh, metallic color, shimmering color, which will be nice. So, yeah, so um, I'll maybe try the um, thin, uh, the smaller uh, burr to see the difference. Just give me a second. I will just do it here. So I'll put that on the side. Take the small burr. Then unlock it. Remove this one. Put it here for now. Okay. Take the small one. So that you can see the difference between those two uh, burrs. Okay, put it back on. You can see it's pretty straightforward. It's not like you need any, any kind of preparation or whatever. Um, I mean, this is not client work, so clearly I will just, you know, do anything probably on the other side. And I'll, you know, it's nice so if you can see it, uh, the difference next to it. So. Secure. Always make sure it's you know secure. Okay. And so then you can clearly see the difference in the size, and uh, so which will be very handy. It will be quite nice to do. Uh, okay.